Okay, this is Percy again. Um, we are now continuing this. Just going to show you that this is indeed an iPad. You can see the signature button right there. So, 3G connected via T-Mobile. I'm using a free RDP app. Connecting. And boom. Okay, so now we are there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And again, this is 3G. So, let's see what and how it performs over a uh, 3G connection, shall we? Let's... Uh, Bear with me. Alright. Let's go to Europe. So I don't think there's any reason to go anywhere else. I don't even know where I picked. Oh. Where did I pick? Well, there you go. Okay? I don't even know where I picked. But, obviously, they have a pretty good connection. Um... I wish I could say, but we'll find out in a couple of minutes. Um, over a 3G connection, as you can see, using an iPad. Ah, bear with me. Uh, bye. Okay. Bye. See you, bye bye. Okay, here we go. 99.74 milliseconds okay and the server was whatever the server was uh, let me see maybe if I hit that button I can see Glowcaster okay so basically uh, 3350 miles 97 milliseconds over a hundred, well, close to 100 megabits of bandwidth. Um, pretty impressive considering we're doing this over an iPad over 3G. So, I would hope to God that uh, you see the benefits of dynamic path routing. And again, the coolness of the entire thing is that I can do stuff like this. No. Okay. Hold on. It's a new RDP app. You're going to bear with me. Okay. So. Let's do that. Can I open that? Alright, I need to pull this down here. Go like that. Alright. And. Alright. Let's go one ba 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 Q QWERTY I think that's yes I spelled QWERTY wrong so deal. Okay. Um and then I am going to file save this. Okay. And then I'm going to close the file and we're done there. So now, I am going to zoom up. To my laptop. And uh, you're going to have to bear with the video. But yes, it's the laptop. Okay, so anyway. I'm just going to reposition this and I'm going to pull it back a little bit so that you can see that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back again keep in mind that we use the uh, existing system so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to look at the uh, sample and there you go. Near time synced. 
That's pretty fast. Um, again, the beauty of the entire situation is the fact that even if your primary or secondary PC goes down, you can, as a whether you're a trader or whatever the case may be, or you just have access to another computer, even one at Kinko's or you know Starbucks or whatever the case may be, you can always log right into your virtual PC using RDP, and you can continue your trades or you can continue to operate. Uh, what makes it really great, of course, is the fact that all of your data was not lost. And when you finally get your situation resolved with your primary or your secondary PC or whatever PC it is you used, um, the data syncs back and uh, you're completely fine. And uh, this obviously works not just on iPads, it also works on iPods, any of the iDevices, uh, whether it's you know 3G connected or Wi-Fi connected and it also works on Android phones so basically what I'm trying to say is you just start a 3G connection and uh, I'd say that's pretty impressive um, but then again ultimately it's up to you what I will say is this um, you get what you pay for with VPS's and uh, this Nuvium is a high class computing provider okay and uh, basically you get a 10 day free trial if you sign up through uh, the button on this article and uh, after that um, well basically it's up to you uh, to sign up but if you are any type of trader then you're going to understand if you're anybody who values high speed bandwidth and redundancy this is also going to make a difference um, and uh, the best kind of backup is always the backup that you can actually use without actually having to do anything and uh, if I haven't demonstrated that then I don't know what does um, but I am going to demonstrate one really quick thing for fun worried about sound? no problem Okay. So we're going to go to YouTube. Bang. And for some odd reason, it is not going there. And it is probably because YouTube is having issues. Or we can just say that, uh, let's go to Vimeo. Okay, well, there we go. Vimeo. So let's pick one and let's watch it. Okay? Here we go. Hopefully it has sound. I have no idea if the video has sound. Okay, so now that we've shown that this obviously works um, there, let's show that it works over RDP, shall we? Um, and I believe the RDP connection is here. Alright. So... Let's pick up Chrome, <clears throat> start it right up, and let's go to Vimeo. And scroll down, hit play, let's see what happens. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is DFX2000. I am a software able to create special effects in real time. My assistant is Mr. Neil, for showing how it works. Turn on the store to start the light. You see this look over here. I think it's better if we show the exact same video that we just showed before. 
so from the PC, which was this one. So let's watch it. Probably a play, huh? Now, you're seeing a little bit of pausing, so let's modify that, shall we? Um, not that sound would be important to somebody that actually is, but I think it's uh, important that we demonstrate the ability of this thing. And uh, what I want to do is I want to actually modify the RDP session. Uh, yes, I do use encryption for everything I do because it's just what I believe. So, let's see. Uh, computer audio settings, playing this computer, etc., etc. Uh, programs experience, low speed. Let's pick modem, the absolute worst possible setting that we could possibly pick. All right, and here we go. <coughs> so, and we're back. Keep in mind that this is a 56K connection, so you're not going to see a very high speed, but to give you an example, if you want to view videos over this, in theory you could. Not the greatest solution, but then again, this is, you know, trying to stream high def over 56K. So, if we were to go to YouTube.com, go. And let's choose something that's simple and non offensive. So why don't we say uh, kids TV? Okay, brush your teeth. Brush, 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 brush. If you wanna have clean teeth, then you have to brush, brush, brush. If you want a nice big smile, then you must brush, 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 Okay, I don't need to torture you with enough of that, but obviously you can see the video streaming even over 56k connection uh, works really quite wonderfully. Um, so, I think I've demonstrated what the difference between a real, true, high quality <coughs> cloud provider is using dynamic path routing versus a provider that does not. Um, and hopefully that will 
make you make the switch. But if you do any type of recording, I mean, if you do any type of training, it's going to matter. If you do anything that's latency intensive, that's also going to be important. And most importantly, and I say this, is the fact that you actually have the ability to um, access a machine that just died. You know, because of mechanical failure, logic board failure, etc., etc. And you have that access from anywhere, including your iPad, your tablet, even your phone, over 3G. So, hopefully this shows a lot. I know this was a very long-winded um, video, but I think uh, it explains enough. So... All I can say to you is um, click on the button below and you get a 10 day free trial. Um, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. Um, as you can see, it works. I do use this, um, even though I d I've never had a need to use this because I have multiple backup machines. And I'm so incredibly redundant, it's just completely unreal. But I think uh, I've demonstrated my point here. Uh, for all you traders out there, um, if you can't see what the importance of latency is, then I don't know how else to prove it to you. But I think I've shown the difference between dynamic path routing versus non-dynamic path routing. Um, and I've also showed you how to test for that. So, 18 seconds to, mil to 9 milliseconds is a very impressive uh, demonstration. And we all know that milliseconds count in times of trading. So, if you'd like to try out the new VM product, by all means, go for it. Um, and you get a special deal by, like I said, 10 days free trial by simply clicking on the sign up link below. So, uh, I guess that's about it, and uh, enjoy. Cheers.